Hi, I'm Vicki Rackner. I'm from Seattle, Washington. I spend my days helping family caregivers manage stress, minimize guilt, and avoid burnout as they care for aging parents. First, this is very shocking news. And I just have great empathy for all of the things that you might have thought or felt and the challenges that you will face. And I wish you lots of strength. The main thing that I wish for you is that you find a way to let your father live and die on his own terms and to be the pack leader who brings a sense of calm and optimism. Because even though he is dying, there's an awful lot of living to do. You know, some people think of death as the opposite of life. I think of indifference as the opposite of life. So people hear that they're dying and they sort of withdraw from life. But we see so much evidence, so much heroism in people who can face death fully engaged in life. Tuesdays with Maury are the last lecture. So I wish that for you and for your father. I will tell you in advance, it's hard. It's painful. And you'll be dealing with a couple of different things. You're going to need to deal with your dad's physical pain. You want him as comfortable as he can be. You're going to deal with emotional pain. This is a huge loss, the loss of life, the loss of a self-image as somebody who's invincible. And I think deep down, all of us think about ourselves as invincible. Those are huge losses. And he will be mourning that. You will be mourning the impending loss of your father. And I think on some level, there's a part of us that believed our parents when they told us they're always going to be here for us. So there's a part that you, you just can't get your mind around the fact that your dad won't be there for you. So you will have your own issues to deal with. And you will be able to take care of your dad best if you find some outlet for all of these feelings that you're going through. And you will know how you can deal with it best. Maybe what you need to do is just go out and go bowling once a week. Maybe you just want to go alone and cry. Maybe you just want to call somebody and just be able to say how awful it is, how much life sucks for five minutes every week. But find a way of taking care of yourself and really tending to that pain and be present with your dad. Know that you can make an important contribution even when you can't fix things. You make an important contribution just by being there and loving him. You know, the person who invented um, suicide prevention just recently died. And I heard an interview, and he said that really his success was based on his ability to come to understand that you only need to ask two questions. Those two questions are, where does it hurt? And how can I help? And just know that you've always got those in your back pocket. This is Dr. Vicki. If you enjoyed this video, there's more for you. Please visit the website below where you'll find lots more information about how to be the kind of caregiver you want to be.